In this video, I'll show you how the VGAP tool can make it easier for you to transport your SAP CPI content. First off, we will select an iFlow that we made a change to. We will assign this to a ticket. We can then transport it in our landscape. And we have, have here set up multiple landscapes. In general, you just have one uh, landscape. You will connect it to a Jira number, link to the Jira, and write what you have done for this. So now we've created a ticket. We have assigned the optics to it. We can go in, we can attach all the objects. This will give us also the package that's a part of this. Next up is we want to test it before we do any releases on it to do regression tests to make sure everything is as expected. So we find one of the test cases in general, you want to run all test cases because then you know they're all valid and they should always run. I can then press run and select which system I want to run it on. And then to do this, it will then send the message into that specific uh, landscape or that system. And then it will download the messages and it will be able to see what the result is. So here we can go in and check the result once they've been processed. So now we have run the comparison. We can see that there's no errors here. If there were any errors, we had a lot of options to view the differences. We'll be able to see specific areas that were different here. And if the order ID was different, we would be able to easily click and ignore that property. And there's a lot of settings we can set up to make testing real. Next up is we want to transport this. So we will click Start Transport. This will take the iFlow that we have in question, the, the package that's a part of it, and create a transport of it. And what we can then do is we can go in here and we can specify what we want the values to be in, in these cases. Uh, and some cases it has replaced it with global uh, replacement. And other times you can go in manually and edit these uh, scenarios. So this is one place where you can configure the full landscape. And in this, we only have two items. If you had three landscape items, they would obviously be possible to configure all three here. Now I can send it to approval. And I have also access to approve here. In general, that's not best practice. Uh, you would need uh, someone else to approve your transport. But for the sake of the comparison, it's a lot easier. As an approval or as a developer, I have option to use different type of comparison. And we can see here that there were some changes in the layout of this. Um, and there was a change up here with some properties. And we can then scroll down here and we can see what was different here. So this was approval seven and this was approval eight. That's probably okay. So we can see the BPM model. We also have an iFlow here, uh, or diff to html This is really useful if you have a lot of groovy code, XSLT, and want to see specific what has been changed as a part of the, the flow. It is also possible to do message mapping comparison that can see what has been changed with specific mapping. So we're trying to provide some different perspective that make it easier for you to approve it. And you can always go into the ticket again and approve it, see what's going on. So I'll approve it, good. And now it's registered, I have approved it and I can start the import here and the import will. So now the import has been processed successfully on the target system, we're getting a warning and that's just because that the credential is missing. So that's all good. We should obviously operational wise go in and check that and ensure it works. So now we just have to set this as result and the next is we can go into a report so we can select generate report and the report is a part to make sure that all the things that you have done as a part of this is registered so here we can see the, the name of the ticket we can see all the attached object that has been changed as a part of this we can see which test cases we ran we can see how what the success rate of this was and we can see the transport they were created and who approved this. This is an excellent thing you can put into Jira Solution Manager service now to ensure that you have documented that this process has been happening in a simple way. Um, I hope you like this and want to try it out and see how it works in real life. Uh, you can always check it out at figup.com forward slash DevOps.